I am making some potato chips, homemade chips. So I have a couple of potatoes that I've sliced feeny, feeny, feeny on my mandolin, carefully and respectfully. I kept my fingers out of the way. And I'm going to brine my chips. I know, who knew you could brine potato chips? We've brined pork chops before, we have brined turkeys. Who knew you could brine a chip? But it really does make a huge difference and it makes a really yummy, super crunchy chip. So I've got two cups of water. I've got a cup of sherry vinegar. So it's kind of like we're making salt and vinegar potato chips. My favorites, by the way. So I'm um, getting all of these together in one canister. I'm doing two tablespoons of sugar, the sweet stuff. And of course, then the salty stuff, two tablespoons of salt. And I'm gonna let these guys hang out in the fridge overnight and we'll fry them tomorrow. Make them super crunchy and really delicious. Mm. Yeah, 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 love, love, love. So I'm just gonna give this a little shake it. We're gonna shake it up and I'm gonna toss these thinly sliced potatoes in there and then we will revisit them tomorrow. Look at that, I'm brining and I'm having no stress about it. Love that one. Okay, so I put my uh, really thinly sliced potatoes in some water, why? So they won't turn the color. There we go, brining potato chips. Let's get rid of this. And so I'm gonna toss these in my fridge. So I'm gonna just get these chips a little bit more dried off. I put these in a brine overnight with some uh, sherry vinegar, salt and sugar and water. And now they're gonna fry up super crunchy and we're gonna do it in batches. And the beauty of these, they're good today. Toss them in an airtight container and they're still good tomorrow. And you know what? They're homemade and they're fun to do together with your family. So let's get these on. Oh, look at and the, the, the brining makes them so tender already. And then when we fry them, super crunchy. All right, so just wanna get them a little bit more dried off. Make sure that they're nice and nice and nice and dry. So here we go, look at this. Let's give them a try. Let's test our oil. Okay, oh, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful babies. Oh, look how cuties. Um, so we wanna drop these in. As I said, we wanna fry in batches so they'll stay nice and crispy and so they don't all sort of fuse into one giant potato chip. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny too, wouldn't it? All right. Yum. And I can smell them already. Now, normally when I fry stuff, I salt them coming out of the oil straight away, but since we brine these with salt and sugar, they are already very well seasoned, so we don't need to do that. All right, look at us. We took care of that already. So I'm just gonna sort of swim these guys around, and I have my drying set up for when they come out. Look at this. They're gonna come out in a second. Look at beautiful. And we're gonna keep on getting these batches going. Give this one more second. All right, look at, we start to, you know, like have these start to come out and they're perfectly fried and seasoned and super crunchy, 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 we love. So my chips, super nice and crunchy and super flavorful because I soaked them overnight in some brine, a little sherry vinegar and salt and sugar, mm, dried them up and then deep fried them. Mm, good stuff.